Joining us now from Philadelphia is Morgan Houston, who is a friend of Markov's when they attended college together in Albany, New York. Morgan, thanks for being with us this morning. When you first heard the news uh, that Philip Markov had apparently committed suicide, was this something you thought he was capable of? I mean, I was really surprised to see it, even though he tried it before in the past. I had just assumed that it was behind him. I had mixed emotions about the whole thing. At one point, he was a friend, and I hadn't, at the time when I knew him, I didn't really see any tendencies towards this. So it, so it did come as a bit of a surprise. I know you were friends in college. Yeah. Um, it, there was an incident in college when you say he was a little physically aggressive towards you. What happened? Um, it was one night and we were coming home and he walked me to the door like a lot of guy friends will do and he just, at the entrance to the dorm, he shoved me up against a wall and tried kissing me and I couldn't physically overpower him to get him off. It was really scary because I was fighting against him and saying, no, Phil, what are you doing? And thankfully, one of our other friends came up and had to pull him off of me. At that point, when you were saying no to him, when you were trying to push him off before that other friend stepped in, did he seem like a different person at all, or did he still seem like the guy that you knew? I mean, obviously, that's not the guy that I knew. It was a totally different side, and I just blamed it on the alcohol. And I thought, well, this isn't normally him. Yes, he can be awkward, but he wouldn't do something like this. So. Maybe, maybe just a few too many drinks. When the information, though, came out a little over a year ago about the crimes that he had been accused of, including murder, uh, what were your thoughts at that point based on the picture that was painted and the man that you knew? I was just dumbfounded. It's so scary that the possibility that you could maybe know someone who is capable of something like this. It was just, I was shaking. I went and I woke up my parents and I was instantly thinking back to that time and wondering if I had seen something. And did you, was there anything as you thought back that, that stood out to you? I mean, that moment really stood out to me. That moment when you say there was that one incident um, when he was, in your words, physically aggressive towards you. Right. Uh, as, you as you look at all this, though, um, do you think that there's anything you saw, if in fact there was a change, if in fact he did commit these crimes, is there anything you know of that could have been a trigger? Not that I know of. I mean, maybe he was just really stressed from med school. It's really tough. So I don't know. I mean, who knows? I wish he had maybe left something behind saying what happened. Still so many questions. Morgan Houston, thanks for being yeah. with us and, and sharing your experiences this morning. Mm -hmm.